Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you another software uh, website platform that can help you in in writing literature review and finding new studies based upon what the studies you already found. So this uh, uh, this platform has many other features, but in this video, I will focus on the discover feature. For that, first of all, I will give you some background. Let's suppose you have already done your thesis or some old paper that you wanted to do to recreate or uh, to update and do something else on it. So, and, and luckily you have that uh, uh, the, the EndNote or Zotero uh, file in which you used the file for import, inserting references. So I will show you that, let's suppose I have this EndNote file, Zotero file in which I have these references which I exported in the form of um, bib text format like I use this and export citation into a bib text format. So if so bib text can come from two places one either you open the scopus or web of science or dimensions platform and use your keywords to find articles and then export the bib text file the that big text file is already up to date because it will provide you all the latest articles but if you already have an old big text file like you you did a thesis and you created an endnote file for the references that you added in the thesis or you did a similar project or a research paper where there are similar references in it and you now wanted to update your uh, study. So what you can do is you can export that bib text file from the EndNote, and then you what you can do is press the discover button in this new platform that is called Lit, Lit Maps. So its full name is Literature Maps. Here you come and press new research. What you can do is import a reference manager file or add it from your library. If you already made a library. You can make a library by by manually entering the studies or using the seed method, uh, which we'll study later. We will we will discover later on, or you just import the bibtex file. So I will open it up and import the bibtex RIS or PubMed file. So my file is this citation.bib. So unfortunately, the free version only allows 20 articles. So I will make sure that I will not add those articles which are methodology based so that I don't want to uh, go beyond what is already I have added. So this software, uh, what it will tell us, I'm, I'm going to disclose it later on so that you can see by experience. So what I will do is I will remove the methodology based uh, papers which are cited in the references so that I can reduce the number and so that only 20 are used so i have removed reduced it a little bit and i will remove a few more which are not literature based which are methodology or data source links which will not help in this discovery of uh, discovery of new literature okay so let me remove few more so i have up, gone up to 34 when i do it import uh, I will select 20 so I will press 20 so it will select the top 20 ones so it will first of all create a map like this this map is showing the similarity or commonality between the studies and and when you then to configure when you when you press next it will it will search based upon these articles that you imported when I run research what it will do, it will give me uh, new studies. Most of them are recent ones, except for those which are very relevant. And and then you can also see how common they are. So you, you notice that these studies are connected uh, downward. So uh, downward means older studies are connected with a new one. So if you if you see this study, it shows that it is connected with these two, these two. So there are studies that are mostly connected with two studies, uh, and and there are few which are connected with more than two. Like there there is one three, 
and there are three studies here, two studies here, two studies here. So what has happened is that the advantage of this software that you can see it now is that you will find uh, more studies which are relevant to what you already used so that you can update your literature by adding them. Further, if you can further guide the, this, this software to find more relevant, for example, this study, uh, Loi, if you, if you think that this study is um, uh, this study is uh, more relevant, I am going to grow towards this, so I will add it into my research and, and then go back. So you have added it and then you will you can select more uh, anyone that you want to add. Okay, then press finish. It will say it will continue with 20 articles. What it will do, it will uh, so since it needs 20 articles, what I will do is I will remove one here and then and then let it let's see the results. So you have to go back and and CD and you can do it by pressing go in articles remove one of them because it should be maximum 20 and then press this button discover related articles it will open it into a new page now that article that you added is within the circle and now you can find more articles within within this range and it will search you more relevant papers within that search range so this will have like this this one is new because it is now connected with uh, loi so it it is found by the study so this way you can uh, increase the number of studies which are relevant to what you already have done so that you can uh, increase the speed of updating the literature review rather than exploring more studies which are first you are looking looking in terms of how which one is relevant and which one is not so this this software will help you in this uh, domain thank you very very much for watching